Hey everyone, so we have my React Native project tested using Cypress. As soon as I have a project on GitHub, I have to set up continuous integration test, otherwise it probably won't work in the long term. So let's add tests to this project using GitHub Actions. Cypress has its own GitHub Action that I have written. And let's look at the basic test. Uh, it seems simple enough. So I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to create dot github workflows folder and I can add a YAML file there. Okay, so end to end test. We're going to run them on push. Probably also want to run them on pull request so that every pull request is merged and tested. We're going to run it on Ubuntu by default. We could use Windows or Mac. We're going to check out the code and then the Cypress run using Cypress IO GitHub action. Installs the dependencies using my package log file. It installs Cypress, caches everything. But we also need to do a few other things. For example, when we run our project, we want to actually start in a web mode before we can do it. So we'll say start and PM run web. Okay, well, that starts. We also want to wait on the URL. Now, the best thing, if you forget the syntax, is just to look up an example of what you're trying to do. So wait for server to respond before running tests. Seems like the thing we want to do. Notice we're giving start command and then wait on for the URL to wait to respond before running tests. In our case, it's 19,006. The same URL we're using as the base. I think this is it. This should be enough to run tests on CI. Okay, so add GitHub folder, add GitHub, push it to GitHub, and let's see what happens. Okay, we can see that our action has started. So the workflow is running and the job is running there. Okay, the code has been checked out. Now the Cypress run using GitHub action is uh, installing dependency using npm ci because it has discovered the package log. If we use yarn, it will discover yarn log and use that to install dependencies. The first time, because it doesn't have a previous cache, it takes a little bit longer to download Cypress, cache it. Okay. Now we hit a problem. It says, when we tried x for start, this command requires x per CLI. Let me see how to solve it. What's the recommended way in the docs for X? Okay, nothing really works there. Well, I guess before we do anything, we'll have to install this globally, just like we did locally. So we'll say run campaign global CLI. There might be a better way. Maybe we can add expert CLI as a local dev dependency also. I suggest you check the code in this repo for my final solution. Okay, so the first run failed. Let's look at the second. While this is running, let me really install expert CLI as a dev dependency. So our project is self-contained and we don't have to share global tools. Okay, local dev dependency. We can still watch this run. Okay, we cannot even install it as global. So let's see if our next run works. Every time you install a new tool, you invalidate the package log or yarn log file, which means it will be a fresh installation so that you're not carrying over dependencies from previous installations. Okay, so now we have expo installed as a local, starts the project, the URL responded, so the action launched Cypress. It ran and then everything is passing. So we have a clean green check mark on our CI. That's it. From now on, the test will always or should always be green.